Hi, I'm Vishwanathan Anand, five-time World Chess Champion. And this is one of my favorite moves. So this is a game between me and Joel Lottier. We played it in the first round of the Beale Chess Tournament in 1997. And um, it was a very good start to the tournament. I mean, if you play a game like this, uh, you feel very good with yourself uh, for the coming rounds and that's um, a nice feeling to have. There was a lot of creative satisfaction to this game. Uh, briefly, I would say that the interesting story was that a year and a half after my using the Scandinavian against uh, Kasparov in the World Championship, Joel kind of challenged me to it um, from with the black pieces. Um, and now we come to my favorite move. So the logic behind it is that if I play bishop g6, he can play queen takes d1. Now I have two ways. I can go bishop takes f7 check, king f8, bishop a3 check. But then knight e7, bishop e7, king takes f7. I mean, this position is probably even good for white, I don't know, but, you know, I've spoiled it a little bit. And um, that didn't seem very convincing to me. And the question is, how could I improve this? And then I found a very quiet move, which, oh, let me just finish uh, the line here. There is also rook takes e6 check, goes king f8, rook takes f7 check, king g8 and I've run out of steam. My attack has stopped. If I go bishop a3 check, that's very nice because if he goes king f8, I have a uh, king g8, I have mate. The problem is he does knight e7. And I'm all over him. I have two rooks and a bishop able to take on e7 and there are multiple mating threats. But the problem is it'll be black's move for one move. And in that time he can play queen takes f3 uh, over here. Or queen f1 and my king will have to run around. So just a bit, tad bit premature. And then I found a move with just, uh, you know, that quiet pawn move, the silent killer. It just um, gives the move to black, but it's not easy to find a way for black. And this is the move that I found. And it is one of my favorite moves. Um, I like this move very much. I'll show you why. Let's look at a couple of variations. Let's say black plays g5. Then I'll go bishop g6. Queen takes d1. And you'll say, well, what's the difference? Well, here it is. I take. King goes there. I take. And in difference with the other line, now I have rook g7 check, because it's now defended. And here bishop a3, and it's going to be mate. So that's one thing. g6, same thing. Bishop takes g6, that rook goes to g7, and bishop a3. Exact same thing. And in fact, uh, he should have captured here. And after this, I'm much better. Sorry, let me throw this one in. He goes here and then I just go here and I'm much better because I'll have two bishops. His king is a bit open. And uh, well, I have the two bishops. So um, that was his best chance. But he did g had six. And this gave me a chance to execute my idea. Bishop g6. Um, honestly, both these moves are lovely, but h6 is the one that set this one up. Uh, make of it was what you will. If he now takes, I go bishop f7 check. Uh, sorry, I go rook e6 check. King f8. Bishop h6 check, that's the difference. Well, that's why I had to play g5. I mean h6. And then I go bishop takes f7, mate. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this move. Um, it's one of my uh, favorite moves. It made my best games collection. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And check out the game as well. The, there are some nice uh, tactics in there. Have fun.